Can you give me a backup? Yep. Alright. Do you see this thing up here? Yeah. Okay. I'm, I'm ready. Hello, ladies and gentlemen of the media. We have Cardinals outfielder Dylan Carlson with us. Please use the hand raise function if you have a question. And we will get started with St. Louis Post Dispatch, Derek Gold. Derek, you have the floor. Hi, Dylan. How are you? Thanks for taking this time. I wonder from your years of playing baseball, what do you think makes a good leadoff hitter? Well, what are some of the traits or skills of a good leadoff hitter? Hey Derek, uh, good to see you. Uh, first and foremost, I mean, getting on base would probably be the most important thing if you're hitting leadoff. But um, you know, just a guy that's able to uh, see some pitches, you know, obviously get on base a lot, and then someone who could run a little bit, someone who's good at relaying information to the hitters behind them, because you know you're the first one to see it. Let the rest of the team know what the pitcher's working with that day, and just a guy that competes. You know, that's. Uh, Pretty much goes for every position, but leadoff especially, I think. Has that been a spot in the order that, you, that you've done much, or is that a spot in the order that you, you've looked at to kind of shape how you approach hitting in other spots of the order? Uh, not necessarily. Uh, for me, I just, you know, it, I, I just like playing baseball. So wherever <laughs> wherever they put me in the lineup, I'm happy to hit there. But um. You know, hitting leadoff is always great. Getting the, you know, getting the first crack at the pitcher, and you know, being able to help the team out—that's always great. Um, I've hit leadoff a decent bit in the minors, so you know, I've I've hit there before, and uh, you know, I think uh, leadoff's a real important position in the lineup. Jeff Jones, Belleville News Democrat. Dylan, when they, uh, a couple weeks ago, after the thing, the trade happens with Arenado and things sort of shake out, a couple days later, the trade happens with Fowler. What's your reaction to that? Because we've, we've talked a lot about, with, with Schilke at least, about opportunities for outfielders and what those spots kind of look like. That's clearly a spot that, that kind of opens up. So when you see that, is there a particular reaction to it? Does that feel like a really a solid opportunity for you? Like maybe this is a spot I can grab? Uh... For me, the big thing, big thing was just coming in and playing my game. Uh, that was my big focus, and you know, with those things happening, it, uh, you know, it just allows me to go out there and play my game. You know, getting getting a guy like Nolan has been huge. Uh, just talking to him so far, he's been it's been incredible to be around, and uh, you know, just real happy to have him here. And you know, Dex, he was big for me. You know, always relaying information to me, helping me out any way possible. So. Uh, it's a guy that I owe a lot to, and you know I'm just real excited to get out there and play. What's the difference for you in spring coming into a camp where you've made your big league debut? You've been able to make some maybe adjustments to what that looked like versus years past when you were sort of trying to maybe prove belong or earn a spot. Not that you're not this spring, but the sort of it's a different perspective, I would imagine, from one to the next. Yeah, it's a little different. Um, my goal still ultimately though is to get better each and every day. So for me, that's where I'm keeping my focus. Um, you know, it's. I still feel like I have to prove myself every day, and you know that's just the way I carry myself. So, uh, you know, like I said earlier, I'm just looking forward to getting out there and playing my game. Zach Silver, MLB.com. Hey, Dylan Harrison was uh, telling us the other day. You know, haven't made a outfield only group chat yet, but I'm just curious what the relationship is like among the three of you guys out there. You know, especially Lane and some other guys, you know, you guys pushing each other, obviously, but what, what is just off the field, on the field, you guys have been meshing well to, to kind of be a, a core outfield unit for this year? Yeah, we got a group of a bunch of great guys, and, uh, you know, it's always a pleasure to be around all of them. Uh, we, you know, we like we like to compete. We like getting better. So, uh, you know, it's, it's fun to be out there with all of them competing and pushing each other each and every day. And defensively, I guess, what is the comfort level? Just knowing you guys got, you know, Tyler, a gold glover and left Harrison in center who feels like he could and probably, you know, has shown he's capable of that. What is just the comfort level working with two guys out in the outfield right now, knowing that defensively you guys are pretty sound? It's awesome, uh, you know, being able to lean on them and ask them questions, ask how they approach things. It's really great. And, um, you know, you just make the most out of it and, you know, try to take things and use it in your game. Derek Gold. Dylan, given your experience last year, particularly that second time up in the majors, 
How did that influence, maybe even change some of the work that you did in the winter because you know what the level is like? And did your off season program change at all with the mind of a 162 game grind and, and sort of what that could entail to get through? Uh, yeah, you know, just um, coming back up that second time really opened my eyes to just, you know, the way the game's played up here. And for me, um, there's definitely, there was definitely a focus on playing 162 this year and, you know, getting the body prepared, just getting stronger and, uh, you know, mentally, mentally getting ready. Um, luckily for me, you know, Goldie, uh, he's passed along some real good books for me to read to help my mindset. And, you know, we have a lot of veterans here that can, you know, reach it, that I can reach out to anytime. Uh, anytime I have a question, just asking them how to prepare, what they saw, what they think I need to work on. So for me, um, you know, I'm in a real good spot and I'm ready to roll. Did the photos that Marucci shared, did, was that from a winter visit? Did you go there this off season to the, to the Marucci site? Yeah, I did go out there. Um, you know, they have a lot of cool stuff going and, uh, you know, I was able to use some of that technology they have there and, um, you know, help, help uh, gather some information on my swing and just the different types of bats um, I use and mm -hmm. different things like that to help me. Did you, and this will be my last one, did you then, did you put on some, some weight, like some muscle this winter? That, that's what sort of the, the photos that they shared showed a, a little bit bigger Dylan Carlson than in the <laughs> past. I hope I'm saying that right. Yeah, it's all good. Um, you know, um, yeah, I, I worked real hard in the weight room this off season and uh, I feel a lot stronger and I'm uh, feeling good and ready to go. Kevin Wheeler, KMOX. Hi, Dylan. Uh, just a quick question for you about uh, the offensive side. So when you're kind of assessing yourself in a moment, are you a feel guy, uh, um, like an actual like data feedback guy, or just a little bit of both? Uh, I'd say a blend, a blend of those two. Uh, obviously, uh, the data gives you immediate feedback and tells you what you're doing. But I also like having the feel and, you know, being able to relate it to the good swing. That way, I feel like that helps me with my consistency. So to answer your question, I'd say both. Any last questions for Dylan before we let him go? Thanks, Dylan. Thank All you. Right. Thank you, Dylan.